Jared Couture here, and in today's guitar lesson, we're going to be talking about three things that you can think about that will really bring your solos to life, right? Bring them to life more, make them less dry, and just make them sound better in general, right? <clears throat> so those things are intensity, emotion, and attitude. All right, so intensity, emotion, and attitude. These three things can really help bring your solos to life. So if you are, you know, beginner, intermediate player, maybe you know some scales, uh, you're just learning some stuff like that. In the beginning, usually people are playing with less intensity just because we're learning scales and we have to build muscle strength in our hands, right? But we can use these things to really help bring our stuff to life. So I'd like to talk about the blues for a second. The blues is all about those things. When you watch a great blues player, they bring so much uh, so much intensity, so much attitude, you know, emotion to it, and it really brings the things to life, right? And they make these funny blues faces, you know? Like something hurts. <laughs> it's just funny, but that's because they're feeling it, right? And that's what we need to do as well, to really bring our stuff to life. So, the blues is a great place to look. Watch Steve Ray Vaughan play. That dude plays with so much intensity, it's just crazy, and it sounds great. So anyway, I've got a loop here, okay? Some bluesy, some bluesy stuff, kind of bluesy. And I want to show you the difference between something that lacks intensity and something with a little more intensity, and you can hear the difference. Let's check it out. Oh, we're going to be using a G blues scale, and we're playing a G blues. Okay? I think that most people probably know that. So check out blues scale if you don't. Here we go. Here's my loop. Now, let's take a very basic lick, right? Very normal blues lick, right? Now that was very dry, very flat, just playing the notes straight, right? But if I add some intensity, come to life more, right? We can use these things like bends, vibratos, slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs. These guitar tricks will help us add the emotion. So let's hear it again, right? Bend. We'll do the same thing. And I just add some vibrato and some bends and it brings it a little a life more. Let's try another one, right? So like And it instantly has just more, you know, it just comes to life more. So I want you to think about these things. And also I want to let you know that I've gone to a, a school, right, with 500 guitar players, literally, Musicians Institute, I was there, 500 people playing guitar. That's a lot of guitar. And I noticed the guys who always sounded the best are the ones who, who brought, you know, the most emotion to their playing, played with intensity, and played with attitude. They always sounded better. Right? So really, just think about these things and really try to play. Now you're going to need some hand strength, and you need to practice those things. Vibratos, slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, but that's it. So I'll let you go ahead now and try to play with a little intensity. You know, just do that part as many times as you want to. G blue scale. But anyway, that's the idea. So just really think about that and really try to add this in your playing, right? Vibratos, slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, things like this. Um, but also just think about intensity. Building the hand strength, really just playing with attitude. Listen to some great blues players. Watch them play one note. How much, how much attitude, how much emotion can you get from one note? 
I think that's the real practice. Start there, and then, once you can do that, start, you know, making it more full by adding more notes to it. But that's the idea. So play with intensity, play with attitude, play with emotion, and you will sound much better during your solos, guaranteed, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you in the next one, all right? Thank you.